How are you going? So the other day, I was attempting to remove a tree stump from my yard in the same way I usually do things, by just hitting them over and over again with an axe, hoping they will disappear. But then I thought, well, what would I do if I didn't have an axe? And what if I lost all my other tools? What would I do then? But then it dawned on me. The circle of life. Could I possibly use the wood from the tree to make an axe and then cut down the tree with the axe so that the tree is essentially cutting down itself? So the first step in making my Buddhist axe is to cut out a piece of wood from the tree stump, which should be easy enough. But my chainsaw teeth are really dull and I have no idea why. So I took it to the garage and then sharpened my teeth. Which should now work. Yes. So then, after using a couple more tools very badly, I now have a square piece of wood. And I've now discovered something that the woodworkers watching probably realized at the beginning of this video. This wood is wet, like really wet. And woodworkers use a stupid little electric meter to check the water content of wood. But I've got my own DIY method, which works just as well. And if I want the ax to be strong, I'm gonna to have to find some way to remove the water from the wood. And at first I didn't get the wood hot enough. Then I got it way too hot. <laughs> then I got it way too cold. Yeah. But eventually I got it just right. And at first I was making a joke about microwaving wood, but it actually is a real method used by old people to get their wood hot. And you are meant to do it slowly, over a couple of days so it doesn't crack, which I didn't do. But I should be able to make my axe, avoiding these cracks on the side. And now for the straw test to check the moisture level. Perfect. Perfect. So then I drew what I wanted the axe to look like before taking it back to the wrong tools to remove some of the wood. And after almost pulling my hand into the saw blade, I decided there must be a safer way. But decided to use my new belt sander instead. Which I managed to damage immediately. Well, I f***ed that up real quick. Now, if you were following along at home making an axe, you were probably annoyed. I've now whipped out a thousand dollar tool that you don't have access to. But don't you worry, there is an easy way you can fix this. All you have to do is steal mine. My family goes to bed pretty early, around 9 p.m. Then you just need to come into my yard. Then you will see this innocent bucket of water, which you need to reach inside and you will find my spare key allowing you to access my house, garage, and belt sander. Oh, and also, if one of my family members or I wake up and confront you, just say you're mates with IDAT, and they'll understand. Um, what are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm mates with IDAT. Oh, um, all right, just, um, keep it down, please. You're a bit noisy. Okay, and this was super easy on the belt sander. Much easier than my other woodworking projects, like my dumbest video ever, making a spoon using only a spoon. 
And speaking of pointless, I wasn't actually intending to make this video now. I was actually working on making a monofin. Carbon fiber. Wow. I was going to use it to race some humpback whales. But then lockdown happened in Sydney and no one, including the whales, are allowed to move around. But I can't complain. It's nice that essential workers like doctors, nurses and YouTubers still have jobs and are able to make some cash during a pandemic. Okay, once I had sanded away my previous sketch of the axe and made it a little slimmer, I marked a new and improved sketch that I want to follow. And some of you are probably thinking this axe looks way too chunky, but I think the only chance I have of this actually working and being able to cut into the stump is if the axe head is as thick and strong as possible. I also cut it so the grain is running up this way, which should hopefully be strong. A bit like when you're making spaghetti and you go to prepare the pasta. All good Italian chefs know that when you try to cut your pasta this way, the knife slips through and cuts your hand. But when I hold it this way, the knife can't slip in between the pasta and the pasta is much stronger. So hopefully the same logic works with this axe. Alrighty, and after inhaling and grinding away more lines than a Wall Street banker, my axe head was starting to look like an axe. And during this whole process, I thought I was being smart by having this large fan that I borrowed from the drug dealer's house, which did work very well in blowing the sawdust away from me. But I forgot about the placement of my car and completely covered it in a layer of sappy sawdust, which also got into my AC and now gets into my lungs every time I turn on my car. <laughs> Okay, I'm happy with this. So I'm gonna start drilling out the hole for the handle. And if I remember right, I think I've got some of the same wood from this tree lying around in the yard that will be perfect for the handle. And I think this piece of wood is going to work. And here's a hot tip for you. Find the piece of wood you're going to use for the handle before you make the hole in the axe head, as I made my hole too big. But I should still be able to make this work by stuffing some smaller wood into the gaps. So I started work on the handle and began sanding it away to get a good fit in the head. But because I'm not used to this belt sander, and the belt is quite aggressive, I'm taking off really large amounts of wood and it started to scare me. Like what if I don't get it right and I keep having to sand more and more away and more and more and then the handle disappears. And then it's just me disappearing into the sander. And then I'm gone and there's nothing left besides a stupid apron. So to avoid this happening, I decided to file it by hand. And eventually, I got a pretty nice fit. And that caused me to get a little too excited and I ejaculated all over the piece of wood before stuffing in little pieces of wood and leaving it to dry overnight. So once my cum was dry, I decided to cut off the excess wood on my old bandsaw that sounds like it's about to die. Yes. And then remove the rest on the sander. Now usually when you attach a handle to an axe head, you cut a slot in the end of the handle and put a wedge in it and hit it so that the handle expands inside the head, locking it in place. But since my axe head is made out of softish wood, it would definitely crack open if I did this. So instead, I'm going to put it together using another plant that grows in my garden, dow grass. So I just carefully knocked in these two dows, which should hold the axe head in place. Come on. Don't be broken. And after sanding away the dowel grass, I gave it a gentle sand with fine sandpaper to remove all the little scratches and cum. 
Okay, we are almost there. And after taking a look at the video and thumbnail on YouTube, I rather like the look of the clickbait leaves on the side of the handle. So I glued them back on. Oh. Ah. Oh. And I also realized I want to give the wood a slight layer of protection. And usually to do this, you use linseed oil, but I don't have any. So I just stole a salad and used some olive oil and vinegar and lettuce to protect the wood and bring out the grain. And take a look at that grain. That is a sexy grain. Look at that grain. All right, let's go cut down a tree. Although, because I only have one axe and I only get one shot at this, I decided to 3D print a little axe and also a little tree stump so I can get a practice swing before going full scale. And if you also want to 3D print your own cute little axe, you can go to thangs.com, who is the sponsor of this video. Thangs is the fastest growing 3D community with over 2.5 million available models to search, store, and collaborate on. It's really easy to search for things on Thangs. Let's say I want to see which other idiots have uploaded axes. I can find the designs and easily preview them in augmented reality. No app is required on iOS or Android. This is a great way to check out a model before you print it. Thangs is great for dumb people like me, as you don't have to know exactly what you are looking for. You can upload a partial model and see which similar models already exist to help you finish your project. Whether you are looking to find or share a model, Thangs will make your life so much easier. So go click my link in the description below and start exploring today. Okay, now I'm ready to see if I can cut down a tree using only a tree. That was a waste of a month. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like that, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos.